Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. P. Gay, man. I'm watching the weigh-in with Wilder Fury uh, 2. You know, the fighters are preparing to come out for the final weigh-in. Basically, there's not going to be a stare-down because of what happened on Wednesday. So, at the end of the day, we get it. But I don't think really anything's going to happen because at the end of the day, these fighters have enough composure not to throw an actual punch because at the end of the day, if they throw an actual punch, they can be arrested for assault and then they lose millions of dollars. So don't buy into the, these dudes need to be separated. Like I said, these dudes had a composure not to throw a punch. It makes it, you, you know, it makes for good TV. It makes for good drama. It makes people want to buy into the fight and get you Ooh, ah, oh but you know at the end of the day come on man them dudes not gonna throw no damn punch they not stupid like that now after the weigh-in i will break down this fight i will talk about what tyson fury needs to do to win this fight and i will also talk about what deontay wilder needs to do to win this fight so um at the end of the day like i said um let's just talk about some other stuff now Okay, now one thing that I'm really proud of that I'm 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 watching that I'm uh, I'm watching is the whole promotion of the fight, how they put everything together. You know, at the end of the day, man. You know, and and I'm gonna continue to say this, man. You know, you get people that make excuses. You know, you get people that make excuses about why this fight can't happen, that fight can't happen, because at the end of the day, they love to protect their favorite, uh, favorite fighter. A lot of these dudes are just, a lot of these dudes are just fanboys. They're not, they're not fans. They're fanboys. They're not, you know, they sit up here and just basically nut hug their favorite fighter or promotional company, and I'm not here to do that. And they make excuse why this fight couldn't happen. And then they sit up here and try to play promoter like they getting paid to promote a fight, which is complete bullshit. Look what's going on with Wilder Fury. You got the, the top ranked team working with, you know, the PBC team alongside each other. Everybody is working together. And I think that's the funny part about the situation. People act like this is so difficult to do. But then again, that's what happens when you listen to channels that feed you guys bullshit that ain't telling the truth. Yeah, it sounds good, but at the end of the day, they just be making up shit. This is what should be happening. At the end of the day, like I told you, I'm 45. I don't listen to some of these dudes that's like in their late 20s, early 30s that be trying to talk about the politics and shit. Because like I said, if these fighters really want fights, they can make these fights happen. You know what I'm saying? So this is just living proof. Like I said, Wilder crossed this mythical other side of the street. So like I said, if he can do it, how come nobody else can't do it? What's the excuse? How long you guys going to continue to be manipulated by some of these boxing channels that be feeding y'all bullshit? What's the excuse now? What's the excuse now? You see Andre Ward. You see Timothy Bradley. All of the fighters are in unison. Crawford is there. Gabriel Flores is there because he's fighting, if I'm not mistaken. You know what I'm saying? This is how boxing is supposed to be. Like I said, I grew up watching this shit. You know, I'm not no dude to sit up here and, and always, you know, uh, praising Al Heyman or just praising one person. This is what boxing is about. I'm Right now, I'm watching Sean Porter, Brian Kenny, all at the same booth. Like I said, it's just excuse after excuse for some of these dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they sitting up lying to y'all. They manipulating y'all. Sitting up saying, oh, well, it's this dude's fault. It's that dude's fault and all this type of shit. And they need to do this and they need to do that, man. Like I said, these dudes is nut huggers. They, they fanboys. You know, they not fans of the sports. They fan of their favorite boxer and they going to do whatever it takes to protect their favorite boxer. You ain't finna get that bullshit from me. I told you I'm calling it right down the middle. If I see some bullshit, I'm calling it right down the middle. And this look really suspect with Tyson Fury. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out, man. I told y'all that these fights can be made, man. I told y'all.
That's why we should always respect Wilder because the fight got made. He didn't make no excuses. Okay, he crossed the side of the street. You know what I'm saying? He found a way to cross the side of the street while all these other dudes that don't even have the resume or, you know what I'm saying, the commercial appeal that Floyd had sitting up here acting like whenever they fight, they bring in 14, 15,000. Well, you bring it in like 10,000, but you, you got 4,000 seats being given away or you, you know, basically they close down certain sections of the arena because, you know, they didn't sell certain tickets and then they're upgrading people. Yeah, I'm putting it all out there. I'm putting it all out there because y'all need to hear this. I'm watching this shit right before my eyes and I'm saying, damn, this fight got made and it don't matter whether it got pushed back. The fight got made. You know, Wilder is a real one. He trying to fight the best. While the people sitting up here worried about, oh, well, this dude need to promote this. He need to do this. He ain't promoting the people. Right. It don't matter. So is that an excuse not to make your team like try to, fight, you know, put together a fight with the other person's team? Like I said, no more excuses. At the end of the day, man, we want the best fights, man. I told you I ain't team nobody. I'm team Best fights need to be made. Once again, this your boy, Town Biz. I'm out.